Okay, so we're going to start a new unit today and go over just a few vocabulary words that we need for a new unit. This new unit is all about functions. Now recall that a function means that for every input, there is exactly one output. This is not to be confused with the relation. Recall that a relation states that there, for every input, there is no restriction on the outputs. All right. So, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what those means here in a second. Um, Let's talk about how functions can look. Functions can look like a series of ordered pairs. They could look like a table. Or they could look like a graph. To take one of these and make it not into a function, you could add a point something like this, 1, 10. So now notice the input 1 has two different places where it could go. It could go to 2, or it could go to 10. That makes it not a function. This would be a relation now. There are also two kinds of functions I need you to understand. There is a discrete function. A discrete function has a series of points, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's 100% connected. A discrete function, when graphed, would look like ordered pairs on a graph, something like that. Um, it's just any time that there isn't 100% uh, of all the information you need. Uh, when there is 100% of all the information, it's called a continuous function. No holes. So a line is a good example of a continuous function. Uh, remember, all lines have an equation that goes with them that uh, you can kind of plug into. All right. The next thing we have to talk about is the concepts of domain and range. The domain is the inputs. Uh, the range is the outputs. All right, so consider this function that I wrote up up here. We're going to disregard that last point I wrote to kind of demonstrate how to make it a relation. But let's look at this function here. What is our inputs? Well, we have 1, 3, 5, and 7. So our domain will be 1, 3, 5, and and seven. I put it in brackets, that's just the way of saying that's a set. Let's look at the range. That would be the outputs. When it comes to continuous functions, it's sometimes harder to see what the domain is and what the range is. Uh, in this case, it's kind of helpful to think about squishing it onto the axis. What data points are represented? Well, in most continuous functions, the domain is going to be all real numbers. All right. 
what would the range be? It would also be all real numbers. Now think about the, the values represented in, in the domain. Think about the numbers that go this way. And also think about the values that go the other way as well. What numbers could you get out of the range? Sometimes it could not necessarily be every real number. For example, if it was a horizontal line, and we'll call this point 7, the only thing in the range would be 7. All right. One last word we have to talk about, which is, well, that's three words, but we've talked about them before. Increasing, decreasing, and a constant. Increasing looks like it's pointing up when you look at it from left to right. Decreasing looks like it's pointing down when you look at it from left to right. And constant means that it's flat when, it, when you look at it from left to right. As always, feel free to reach out and ask me any questions you have.